Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And with reInvent just around the corner, we are still seeing so many new announcements. And on Monday, it was IoT Day, which featured loads of exciting announcements relating to Internet of Things. We also saw the launch of CloudWatch Service Lens, as well as CloudTrail Insights. And Amazon Athena now supports federated querying, as well as the ability to invoke machine learning models. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. So on Monday, it was IoT Day, and we think the coolest announcement was the launch of Alexa integration with IoT Core. And this means that Alexa voice capability can now be produced on any type of connected device, and the associated workload will be offloaded to the cloud, which in turn reduces the cost of producing Alexa built-in devices by up to 50%. We also saw the launch of CloudWatch Service Lens, and this is a great new feature which integrates CloudWatch metrics and logs with AWS X-Ray to give you a complete end-to-end -end view of your applications and their dependencies, and also to help you with root cause analysis and the identification of performance bottlenecks. And in addition to that, there's also CloudTrail Insights, which is designed to identify unusual usual activity in your AWS account. For example, sudden spikes in resource provisioning or identity and access management events. And the way it works is to analyze your existing CloudTrail logs to establish a baseline for normal behavior, and it will then alert you when any unusual activity is detected. Amazon Athena now supports federated querying, and this is awesome because you can now use Athena to run standard SQL queries, not only on files hosted in S3, but also on relational or non-relational databases like DynamoDB, as well as object and custom data stores, and even data located in your own data center. And another great announcement for Athena is that you can now invoke machine learning models directly using an SQL query. And you can use the pre-built machine learning models provided with SageMaker or use your own model or one purchased from the AWS marketplace. And this is currently in preview in US East 1. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was D. And the person with the best answer is Jeremy Wilhelm, who is a cloud architect working for Cardinal Health in the US. So congratulations to Jeremy. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt sticker and hand signed card on the way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2020. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And finally, if you're heading to reInvent, you'll find myself, Ryan, and all of the other ACG instructors. We're gonna be at booth 727, right next to the developer lounge. And we can't wait to meet you. So please do come and say hello. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.